On today's episode of the Today Show, we're at a client's home that we did in Ringwood, New Jersey, eight years ago. This project was challenging, unusual, and very difficult from the start all the way into the end. We had many different elevation changes. We are standing in the street right now, right by his driveway, which was done with a tumbled paver. From the driveway down to the lower lake, it's 56 feet of elevation change and 160 feet. Let's go inside and take a look. Come on. Coming in off the driveway, this home is in a lake community with all the natural woods surrounding it. We wanted to make the home feel like it was part of the natural environment and just dropped in. So with that, we use a lot of plants in the area to soften the lines. Uh, six inch thick bluestone slab stairs that are finished that gives a consistent step but also keeps with the natural stone. And then on the left you can see we built a large retaining wall to hold up the driveway. This is a precast block wall that we had to dig down 13 feet and stabilize the soil and two foot lifts as we came up in order to have the cars park on top. One of the first challenges we had in this project is the home is 20 feet lower than the street. So building retaining walls to hold the soil back, we also had a drainage issue. As you can see on the side here, we built a wall to keep the soil away from the house and then we used river rock and built what we call a dry stream bed with a piece of pipe to run the water around the house and away so nothing goes into the home. One of the most important design principles at Toad A is making sure that the home is part of the natural environment and doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. We work with Mother Nature, trees, plants, additional properties around to make this home look like it belongs where it is. As you can see, we've used natural stone, this is a Pennsylvania field stone, dry stacked to build the walls. And then we soften the big retaining wall for the driveway with layers of plant material. Purple plum flowering tree. We have some green giant arborvitae, red twig dogwood down to a stilby, and some coreopsis and some ferns. These all bring the whole design together so the wall doesn't stand out, but also we're bringing the natural surroundings in to accent this home. And now we're gonna head to the backyard to see what the real challenges were on this project. Numerous and kept me up at night. We're in the backyard on the upper patio overlooking the lake. This patio uses pavers, the same as the driveway. This ties the design in together. And we did a mix of a bluestone circle to break up all the different lines on the patio. Next, we're gonna head down to the rear yard and see all the stone walls and slab stairs. This is the fun part. Another challenge in this project was constructing walls that are natural, nice looking, and also able to get us up to the height of the home and get us into the front yard. With that, a new septic field and tanks had to be put in to update with the new codes. We had to take those tanks and hide them with the walls as part of the project. We're walking down now all the natural slab stairs into the backyard to get to the lower lawn. To soften all the hard lines of the stone, we used quite a few different plants in the project, starting with ladies mantle, creeping phlox, Oregon grape holly, daylily, creeping English ivy, some hosta, into some hydrangea. Check out this boulder that we unearthed once excavation began, we built the wall over it, and then we found one to the right also. We worked with them, and in front, we layered in some Japanese forest grass, bright yellow, with a little bit of green running through the lines. And in the backdrop, we have cryptomeria to give some screening. We're down here at the lakefront and we built a patio so you can come down and entertain your friends and enjoy the day, maybe catch a fish or two. My initial meeting, walking into the backyard, I noticed this dogwood tree down by the lake and I decided that would be a good focal point and I wanted to make sure we worked around it. We saved the tree and built the walls behind it and as you can see we unearthed a large boulder 
that we built the wall up to to once again tie in with the natural elements and keep the project as organic as we possibly could. The most daunting task was access to this backyard to complete the work. Besides being steep and narrow, we did not have access. We had to go through the neighbor's yard and create a road by taking out trees, stairs, a walkway, and some small ornamental plant material. Once this project was completed, we had to put everything back. After it was all said and done, the client came to me and said, I didn't think we'd get it done. I'm sure you set up many nights late thinking about it, and I said I did, but he loved it, and he said it was a pleasure working with us. And he was amazed at what we did and how we transformed his yard. I hope you enjoyed this show. We'll catch you in the next one.